Good morning, everyone. Today, my presentation is on the epidemiology of Clostridium difficile among Ontario broiler chicken flocks. For those of you who don't know, broiler chickens are chickens that are raised for uh, meat production. I'll give you a brief background on Clostridium difficile at the beginning. It's a gram-positive anaerobic bacterium that is uh, mostly known as a hospital-acquired pathogen responsible for Clostridium difficile associated diseases in patients who receive antimicrobial therapy. The antimicrobials uh, disrupt the, bacteria, uh, the, the balance of healthy bacteria in the intestine, causing Clostridium difficile to grow and produce toxins that lead to disease. Strains that uh, produce toxin A and B, or both of these toxins, are capable of causing disease in humans. People become infected with this disease when they um, touch contaminated surfaces and they touch their hands to their mouth. Or uh, in a hospital setting, uh, the, the infection is spread by healthcare workers who um, use the washroom and then don't use proper hand washing techniques afterwards. Uh, symptoms of infection can vary from severe to mild diarrhea, abdominal pain, inflammation of colon, and death. Recent studies have shown that there's an increase in the number of um, community acquired infections, and uh, that led researchers to speculate to whether um, there's, um, uh, as to whether the infection can be spread from food or animal sources. And, um, um, and, uh, and uh, recent studies also have found Clostridium difficile in, um, in, in, in live chickens from Zim uh, obtained from studies in Zimbabwe, retail meats in Ontario, and livestock such as pigs and cows. Our main objectives for our study were to determine the prevalence or proportion of Clostridium difficile flocks from a representative sample of Ontario broiler chicken flocks and to identify whether these, uh, uh, whether sample, or whether isolates from these samples uh, are, uh, contain genes that code for the disease causing toxins and to determine the proportion of resistant isolates to important antimicrobials used to treat human infections. Uh, this study was part of the large cross-sectional study called Enhanced Surveillance Project. Uh, in that study, we randomly selected 231 flocks from Ontario broiler chickens flocks, and we collected five pooled intestinal samples from 15 birds per flock and submitted these samples to the Animal Health Laboratory for testing. Uh, we found that 7% uh, of flocks uh, were positive for Clostridium difficile in, a, in at least one sample, and we also found that 70% of the isolates we recovered carried genes coding for toxin A uh, or B. Resistance was found in 71% of isolates for cefoxetin, 25% uh, in cl uh, clindamycin, 21% for tetracycline, penicillin 14%, uh, ampicillin 7%, and vancomycin was 4%. Our study established that chickens are a reservoir for Clostridium difficile, but they are not a major reservoir, and that um, strains uh, that carry the uh, disease toxin gene, uh, genes um, are, uh, could potentially pose a risk for animal-human transmission, and that the resistance in, in the isolates could potentially um, have an impact on future treatment and duration of infection and severity. In conclusion, I'd like to thank my advisor, Dr. Michelle Guerin. I'd also like to thank all my committee members, uh, Scott, Dr. Scott McEwen, David Pearl, Georgia Slavic, and Andreas Borker for all their contributions to the project, as well as project funders, OMAFRA, Animal Health Laboratory, Poultry Industry Council, Chicken Farmers of Ontario, personal funders and collaborators on the project, and thank you for listening, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.